Hi boys and girls, I'm happy to see you today. A few days ago, we read a book about animals that live in a tree. And the tree is their home. What's another word for home? Habitat, that's right. And today, we're gonna read a book about animals climbing up a tree. And the title of this book is What Can Climb? And it was written by Michelle DeFrings. What Can Climb? What Can Climb? Uh, what kind of punctuation is that? That's a question mark. It means that the author is asking a question. What's climbing the tree here? A monkey. What sound do you hear at the beginning of monkey? Mm, monkey. M makes the M sound. Oh, here we have a big cat. Wonder what kind of cat that is. A leopard. That's a leopard. What's climbing the tree here? A squirrel. We have a white squirrel that likes to run around our yard. Well, what's climbing the tree here? A snake. 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 And the snake is sticking its tongue out. We learned about snakes. Why do the snakes stick their tongue out? Yes, they're smelly. Oh, here we have a raccoon. And a panda. And this is a lizard. What can climb? Read the words with me, boys and girls. Leopard, lizard, squirrel, snake, panda, monkey, raccoon. A monkey can climb a tree. Boys and girls, you point under the words while I point above. A monkey can climb a tree. A leopard can climb a tree. A squirrel can climb a tree. A snake can climb a tree. A raccoon can climb a tree. A panda can climb a tree. A lizard can climb a tree. What can climb? Leopard? Lizard? What does leopard and lizard start with? Oh, yes, it's an L. An L makes the O sound. Squirrel. Snake. What sound do you hear at the beginning of Squirrel and snake. Yes, you hear that S sound. That's what sound the snake makes. Panda. Panda starts with what sound? What's the first sound that comes out of your mouth when you say panda? P panda. P makes the P sound. 
And here we have the monkey. What letter makes the mmm sound? Yes, M. Mmm. Monkey. And finally we have the raccoon. What's the first sound that comes out of your mouth when you say raccoon? Err. R makes the err sound. Raccoon. Well, it's been fun reading with you boys and girls. Make sure to listen to your families when they're helping you with your schoolwork at home. Remember to do your class dojo lessons, which are in the messages Mrs. Poling sends, and do I ready math and reading every day. I'm proud of you and I miss you boys and girls. See you next time. Bye. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy, buddy. You gonna see mom? Hmm? Come on, get up the steps. He's like, I want it. You have a ball. Uh,